um, I'm just as stunned as you are. What am I doing here on your screen? Don't even ask me, but take it all in. I'm here, I've returned. Hi, hey, hello. Hello, ladies and gentle babies. It's been so long since I've said that intro. Welcome to 2023, what's good? <laughs> I hope you guys are all blessed as always. If you're new to my channel, if you're into anything thrifting, fashion or styling related, be sure to hit that subscribe -io. Like you and me wanna be boys, right? And if you're a returning subscriber, you got my heart, you got my heart. I have not looked at camera dead in the spectacle for months. Yeah, so I'm a little rusty, sorry girls. But <clears throat> let's start this again. <laughs> it's taken everything in me to try and have some social media presence, but I've just been out of it. Life has been a whirlwind. Like since my last upload, things have just been moving, grooving. I moved place, so the setup is slightly different. My lighting is still, you know, but at least we have more space now and i did a day shoot for the summer 2022 palace campaign which was a friggin amazing um yeah let me just throw some i want to say throw some d's up i'm gonna throw some p's for photos you know work has just been so hectic i changed roles i'm still where i've always worked but it's a lot it's a lot but we move what else what am i forgetting i don't know i'm here now that's all i can say so thank you for watching i hope you guys are well hope you're 2023 i keep wanting to say 2022 so bad but i hope your 2023 has started off right you know i personally think i'm going to be setting my intentions in like march because I was reading, is it like before or after the Gregorian calendar, we used to have a new year in March and that just makes more sense to me. Start setting the habits for them, but really set my intentions and manifest all that I want, all that I am, all that I be. It's like March 20th this year, when spring equinox, I don't know. Anyways, I come back to this channel and all I want to do is ramble because I miss y'all and I hope you miss me too. I thought I'd do a more laid back video today. I really just wanted to have some styling type shenanigans um, and styles and trends that I'm really loving or outfit ideas that I wanted to try and recreate. I don't stop talking now. We won't have an intro. We'll just have one long video of me sitting here catching you up you know kicking we'll do that in the videos to come don't you worry but for now let's get into these fits these situations shall we take it away future tie here we have the first fit apologies for this awkward angle and my room it just doesn't have enough depth for me to film like <laughs> face on but let's just let's just focus on the fits anyway first trend i personally love and want to talk about is lace particularly i think it's eyelet lace be it as like a layering piece or as a standalone like all the different styles i've been seeing all the different cuts and colors personally prefer i think is this called anglaise maybe it's like british anglaise lace or like a florally light dainty type of lace i love lace trim on near enough everything so <laughs> i just start this jacket with um a super dry skirt that i thrifted some gray tights and then i was thinking these bow socks sorry these bow shoes i really do love them they're so fun and like comfy to wear i feel like the sole reminds me of like space age for some reason so there's also tying in that theme and here we have it i'm just checking myself out in the mirror there i couldn't figure out where else to put the mirror that i could still see myself but yeah i wanted to pair it with this mini skirt because one i love mini skirts and two it has a bit of lace trim on the in the lining as well, which I really like. So it's like a peekaboo lace. Maybe I might try some accessories. I've been really wanting to style my bunny bonnet from Anomi Gender, I think. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. I absolutely love the lace that's around like the front bit of it. It's meant to be like a heart cut. Sometimes I tuck it away because I feel like a heart shape doesn't always necessarily suit me. But I haven't figured out a way to wear this yet where I feel confident enough that it works with the fit but i absolutely adore this thing so let's try it with this maybe incorporating lace funny things will be nice 
I personally would wear this. I mean, I don't think it always suits my face shape at the moment, especially with the Christmas chin, but it's still adorable. Also, maybe I should put it with white tights and, or white socks instead. I feel like that might be a cute look. If not this headband, sorry, if not this bonnet, I'm gonna try it with a headband as well. So let me, let's swap these accessories out. This kind of headband is picking up in popularity again as well now. I had a time where I was just wearing the back to back and I got loads of different colors. I think as long as you have maybe just a white and a black, these things are so easy on a day that you just can't be bothered to do your hair. Let me just bring it up and put this on. Then I've just got a rosary style necklace underneath. Sometimes you can see it. I like the little peekaboo. Like if I zip this down, you see it if you don't. And I do like it with the white headband. I'm loving an all gray look as well. Grey and blue fast becoming my favourite colours at the moment. I was thinking if I do put white socks on maybe I'll pair it with a different dress. This is another one. It's kind of, it's from the same shoe shoe collection as this jacket but it's the dress. Oh my god it's so adorable. And the bow I could die. I could die at how sweet and adorable this is. These would probably go better. Let me try, let me try with white socks on. So I thought another way could be like loafers instead of the bow shoes, because this still has enough lace for me and this could be my faux bow <laughs> to make up for it. I do actually really like it with white socks. I think it adds like a playful, cute little edge to it. I'll save the other dress for another thing, but I might wear that with like the white no dress tights and loafers or the old Mary Janes that I've seen. But yeah, that's the first fit. I think I will try the second one now. Next up, we have pointed boots. Like who hasn't been loving them? I just think they elevate most fits, especially when people wear them with like baggy jeans or baggy oversized trousers. I love that look. Also that the fact that low heels, heels that you can walk around in are just becoming the go-to. No one's stressing themselves with five, six inch heels. It's too much. But for this look, I just wanted to also tie in a bit of that boho chic slash dare say boho sleeves um just if you've seen this look you know what i'm trying to go for it suits and flatters everyone like you can't really go wrong just pick a really flowy skirt some boots your favorite top that just shows you off in all the right ways and you're kind of there i'm just gonna put my jacket on this quite possibly is probably one of my favorite jackets that i've ever thrifted of all time i so wish i found like a full length penny lane but I can't really complain. I found this quite a few years ago now, but it was like 20 pounds and I thought the person mispriced it. They immediately took myself to the till and left expeditiously. We're not letting goodies like this go. I kind of like the socks poking out a bit. I feel like it gives me kind of witchy vibes, but I could also just tuck them away, make them either look like leg warmers or just not. What do we prefer? Oh, maybe a bag as well. I really have been forgetting my own bag. It's my go-to bag anytime I want to go out. I'm kind of in that phase. If I have one thing that does the job, I'm happy with not needing to buy more of it. So like this bag is my go-to going out bag. I know lilac isn't technically a kind of neutral tone, but there's something about this bag that I just feel goes with everything. And yeah, I've got my rosemary necklace on again. This is from Livia Wednesday. You'll probably see the same accessories and same jewelry throughout this video. Because all I do is wear either shoulder bags, really oversized one shoulder bags, like my belts. I just have belts on rotation. I have, I say a few bags. Obviously I have quite a few bags, but they all serve a different purpose. I don't think any of my bags really overlap. I'm gonna stop talking now because Feel like i'm digging myself a hole but i get it and i know there's things in your wardrobe you look at and you get it you probably have two black camisoles that look the same to everyone else but they have two different functions one holds the girls up one sucks you in nicely one is a nice layering piece one could be one on its own do you, do you get it so yeah <laughs> I don't even know what I would change out. I think probably just rotate to a different belt. Maybe I'll try this belt just to add a bit of color because I do know it's a lot of brown right now, but brown's never hurt nobody. So what do we think with this? I think I do prefer this, but I like that this adds a different color to the outfit. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. 
And here we have the next one. This one's a bit more basic, but for me, belts. Just belts, 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 any kind of belt. Love it. Love a double up, love a triple up. Those who can really do like top tier can just make belts a top. I love the people who can pull it off. I've thrifted some over like the past two years and these have come to be my favorites in rotation. This one I love because it's kind of like a piratey, I don't know what it is about the buckle, but I picked this up a trip in summer to Spain with my partner, which was so fun. And we weren't that close to loads of Central City, so there was just one day of traveling through a major city. I made sure to hit them all up. I didn't find loads on that trip, but I found some gems like this. I actually prefer stacking my belt. The more the merrier, the first thing. Like, it doesn't really matter the combination. I just usually like to have two colors if i'm gonna stack a belt or two different motifs going on so how this skirt is a bit more piratey i like throwing on like this western star belt i don't usually put these two together actually just because i feel like it kind of covers it when i do it but you get the vibe and they are slightly different brown so what i mean of like just try and have a different color belt when you're doubling them up i feel like it adds layers to the outfit an og of mine i just think I literally throw this on anything. There's this one outfit that lives in my brain, rent free. It's probably on all your Pinterest boards. It's this midi crochet style dress, I think. So I'm gonna try and recreate that next. Time. But yeah, belts in all their glory. And I usually like pairing them with skirts. I think I'm a sucker for a flared skirt or like a pleat skirt and a belt. So let me try and recreate the Pinterest outfit you probably will see. Okay, so for the base of my outfit, I went with this Rentry dress, I think it's called Rentry. You may have seen this dress over your TikTok or on socials, but when I saw it, I was like, need, must have. I tried to keep it on my wish list for as long as possible to make sure that I really did want it because that outfit, that Pinterest outfit had been on my mind, literally pinned for months and months and months. I knew I wanted a long sleeve midi type dress and the crochet was just piece resistance along with these crosses that run down the front and the back such a nice detail so when my boyfriend decided to get this for christmas i think i stood there and froze for a second it's just a bit sensational isn't it um here's the back it like dips in the back i've just put these claw i don't know what they're called they're like waist pinches just so the clothes don't look so baggy on you so yeah and then i'm gonna pair it this is the closest kind of belt i could find to what the girl has on in the picture it does look a bit like run fair but i've never been post that i personally still love looking like i'm cosplaying a fairy every now and again and there's something about this belt that also still feels like western or like i could put it into other outfits and it not looks so costumey and even if it does i don't think i care because i really do like this belt it just adds a nice bit of you know a bit of something i am very tempted to cut some thumb holes in here i don't want to stretch or like ruin the amazing work that's gone into this so Let's just imagine it comes down. I literally like thumb holes on all my all my tops. Here is the bit. What are you thinking, two belts? And also maybe this might tie into like crochet and like religious iconography showing up a lot more in fashion at the moment. There's a few themes this outfit plays with and I like that about it. So yeah, on to the next one. Next, we have bubble hem anything and boxing boots. Now, excuse the way my boxing boots are tied up. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It takes minimum, like, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a congregation to get these boxing boots on my legs and off them again. I think one piece of advice for this trend, if you really love it, make sure you get the kind that zips up and down so you don't have to worry about lacing yourself and strapping in every single day there was a time i was wearing these religiously every day and i would actually have to get up 15 minutes earlier just to sacrifice time to lace these amazing beauties up granted i love them down but this is just this is just for showsies hopefully you still get the vibe i'm going for bubble hem i was unsure about for a while and then last year i just randomly wanted to put these two together to see how i feel about them and i feel like it's giving me very lily allen and i quite love that i think i'd probably put a cardigan on top i love an angora or like mohair type cardigan with this look i just think it's so cute 
same jewelry, same everything. You don't have access to like boxing boots or can't find them online. Vinted, always the best place to book. Or I think a substitute could be like any kind of lace up knee high boots would work well in place if you can't find them. They do obviously have a distinctive style, but hopefully as they're gaining more popularity, you can find them in more like secondhand places and vintage shops and whatnot. I will try another variation of this outfit with knee high boots. So you get the vibe that I'm going for. For me, I think the whole like comfort meets dressy outfits, I really like that style at the moment. Or just the sport intertwining with really traditionally feminine outfits is really nice. It's not to love. So let me go try that outfit variation. Now, you may have already seen me try this variation of outfit before, but I really do love it because it's just one of my staple go-tos at the moment. These Doc Martin boots are so comfortable. They have like padded lining inside the insole, so lovely to wear. This is what I meant about like, if you can't find boxing boots per se, I think knee-high boots still make a good substitution. This military jacket, I really love. I don't know what this came from. There was something about when ballet corps came around and I was watching the Nutcracker, I really liked the style of jacket I was seeing around. So I wanted something in a neutral tone to try and like take away from the costumey, military looking style jacket. Nice when paired with like knee high boots to still add some, we should call it utilitarian? No. It's like marching band slash the days I used to listen to My Chemical Romance alongside my dreams of being in band camp. We're in the UK, we don't we don't do that. Or as in any school I went to, we didn't we didn't have things like band or whatnot. We just there was music club, but not to the level that you see in American high schools and whatnot. This gives me the feels of that for some reason. All in all, I think again, it's always to be said, mini skirt will feature pretty much everywhere, anywhere all the time. Millie's jackets I feel like will be trickling in the more we see indie sleeves coming popular or the more we see mid 2010 styles coming back into fashion so be on the lookout. I also really there's this image in my head I just love this accessory it's an aviator style head piece I think it was on Sandy Liang or Yuhan there was a designer maybe it was Yuhan I'll pop the images up um who did like a floral take on the AVA headgear and I just have really been loving the contrast between like what something is realistically meant to be used for versus using a different material that's not usually associated with that and AVA hats in general I'm really liking so keep your eyes peeled if you see any good ones for me and then the last trend I want to talk about is a mini skirt especially this year will be thriving I quite like it when people pair it with like low shoes rather than super chunky sole trainers or super platformed boots I'll try loafers first this has been one of my go-to outfits as of late I'd probably even put lower socks on but I quite like it with loafers I think the vibes are immaculate <laughs> or actually I think I prefer it with some adidas and get some adidas running through my whole outfit one of the sports brands we can tell is having its resurgence is adidas for sure i quite like it with the trainers actually so i'm gonna try maybe with the headband again but i think it could also go with like a skull cap beanie i really really like seeing outfits like this with that like come on it's just i feel like that i am bella hadid audio oh right now. my name my name is Bella Hadid. Of course your bestie, your fave has put this silhouette of outfit on the map and I feel like there's a reason it works so well. It's so comfy, it just, all the pieces can be interchanged. You can change out like a different skirt. Actually, I think I might even want to put like a key ring on here. I quite like having something to fiddle with, either a belt, a bag, or just some kind of extra piece. If I did swap out the skirt, for example, I feel like this silhouette of outfit would still work. So I'm going to try it with a kilt. Like, I don't know what it is. Is, but it just it makes sense. I'm not actually gonna put it on properly because I can't bother. But 
In fact, for the last bit, I'm gonna double up on another trend I've been loving, but wearing in loads of different ways. Trousers and midi skirts, or trousers and skirts in general, but I personally have been wearing some kind of oversized baggy trouser with a midi past the knee type skirt. Rogue move. Try and put trousers on when you've got trainers, but I just really couldn't be bothered to take my shoes off again. You know, you get where this is going. It's just this, I don't know what makes this recipe work, but it does, you can't deny. And if you are, you're a liar or a hater. Or both. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna land on this safe space of an outfit and wrap this video up. So thanks. Stay looking good, sis. And yes, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If there's any trends you've been loving at the moment, share. I want to know what else I can be getting into and what I'm missing out on. There are a few other pieces I want to sew or get my hands on. So maybe I could do like styling wishlist pieces or styling other trends I really like. If you have any ideas as well, drop that in. Just drop anything you feel like down there nice or not i want to hear it all that's a lie only leave me compliments and flowers and gifts that i don't want to see negative <laughs> but yeah i really did enjoy filming today's video guys so i look forward to catching up with y'all on the flip side of the next video and until then be sure to stay absolutely goddamn beautiful it won't be hard look at the material yeah you know what tomorrow i want you to go out and treat yourself to a snap that you've been putting off for no reason i don't know why just do that and last but very not least stay you that is all until next time bye guys <laughs>